trying to trying to lower our uh, miles per gallon and uh, just make some uh, HHL out there. Um, basically, uh so you believe that if you use gasoline to power an alternator to create electricity to create hydrogen oxygen using electrolysis that's going to save you gasoline their vehicle basically you're going to have to install a map or map sensor and that is why you're going to get better miles per gallon this is my own expedition this is fuel injected engines already have an MAP or an MAF sensor what this person really means is one has to modify that sensor to fool the onboard computer inside the automobile engine to make it believe that it is sucking in less air than it actually is. When the sensor reports that a less volume of air is being consumed by the engine, it will lean out the gasoline in proportion to the air. So if the computer believes that it is sucking in less air than it actually is, it will mix that air with less gasoline. Therefore, if you modify the sensor, such as using a 10,000 ohm potentiometer, a variable resistor, you will fool it into leaning out your mixture and you will get better gas mileage. However, when you do that, several things uh, go wrong. The first is you get less horsepower from your engine and the second thing is and probably most importantly your vehicle is no longer legal to drive. The Environmental Protection Agency has a um, law against doing such things and you could be fined uh, I believe the fine is currently two thousand dollars if you do this and it is also illegal to operate that vehicle with your map or mass sensor modified. It's it's the combination of the hydrogen or HHO rather and uh, your math sensor uh, is is basically how you're turning it down. You're turning down your gasoline consumption with that unit, and that's what's giving you a better gas mileage. And you're uh no. If you modify your MAP or MAF sensor to lean out the fuel to air mixture, you will get a slight increase in your miles per gallon. The oxyhydrogen bubbler under your hood does absolutely nothing positive and it will decrease your miles per gallon. So if you do these two things together, if you get a oxyhydrogen bubbler and you lean out your fuel to air mixture by modifying the MAP or MAF sensor, you will get a slight increase in your miles per gallon, but if you turn off your oxyhydrogen bubbler or you yank it out of your engine compartment and throw it in the trash, you will see an even larger, even though slightly, increase in miles per gallon. That is because the bubblers waste gasoline they do not improve miles per gallon yes mileage you can't just dump um you can't just dump hydrogen into your vehicle and and expect it to improve it it, it will give it more horsepower it's going to give it more uh response and and it's going to run better but you're no no and no these devices do not improve your horsepower, or I should say your vehicle's horsepower, unless you're a vehicle. These devices do not improve, quote, performance, unquote. They do not make your engine run, quote, better, unquote. These devices produce so little oxyhydrogen, even at five liters per minute, that the engine ignores them completely. It is the devices produce such an insignificant amount of gases that the engine doesn't even see it. It's completely ignored. The only thing these devices do is cause your alternator field to be turned on longer, which puts drag on the engine, and you will see a decrease in your miles per gallon. That is why these clowns are also claiming that you have to modify your MAP or MAS sensor. 
That is where you get your very slight improvement of miles per gallon. You're leaning out your air to fuel mixture by putting in less fuel, less gasoline, into the air mixture that's going into your vehicle's combustion cylinders. That is where the very tiny increase in miles per gallon comes from. And of course you'll get a decrease in horsepower. The actual oxyhydrogen bubbler devices? Absolutely worthless. The whole town must be utterly destroyed. An example must be made. <laughs>